Good morning, LGH. You're tuning into Storm TV. Welcome to our third show for the 2017 and 2018 school year. This is Eric Nunez alongside Devante Garcia with your LGH news this morning. Thank you to our sponsors, Delta Theta Ta of Plymouth. We would like to thank Delta Theta Ta for their continued support of LGH Digital Storm. They are a philanthropic women's organization which has given back to the Plymouth community for the past 80 years. Today is National Waffle Day. The first United States patent for a waffle iron was issued to Cornelius Worthout of Troy, New York on August 24, 1869. In honor of this anniversary, National Waffle Day is observed each year on August 24th. Let's take a look at our Storm TV weather, LJ's cafe menu, and birthdays for the week. Welcome back to Birthdays with Cooper and Amber. Today we have Braden Dotson and Malegro Solorio. Tomorrow we want to wish a happy birthday to Cole Barden, Benjamin Christian, Caitlin Gorehouse, and Mason Keller and Alexis Rose. On Saturday we have Hannah Beerward. To finish up the week, on Sunday we have Clayton Feldman and Ethan Pike. Have, have an, an awesome, awesome birthday. birthday. Yeah. Welcome back, Lincoln. This is Connor here with Storm TV Weather. Let's take a look at today's forecast. Today's high will be 72 with a low of 50. Tomorrow will be a high of 75 with a low of 51. Saturday will be a high of 77 and a low of 54. And now to Zach with our weather fact. Have you ever wondered how meteorologists predict weather? Well, meteorologists use complicated mathematical equations equations to help predict the weather as part of a process known as numerical forecasting. To get data from the seas in the upper atmosphere, data collection tools and instruments may be attached to ships, airplanes, and buoys in the middle of the ocean. Weather balloons and weather satellites also provide observational data. Next Monday, we will look at how weather was forecasted before all of this equipment was available. Welcome back, LJH, for today's LJH Lunch News. Today for lunch, you have a choice of a walking taco with salsa, refried beans and cheese, garden salad, and a fruit of choice. There's also a variety of snacks you can choose from, or you can pick up a PB&J package, or just stop by the salad bar. Hey, LJH, it's Richard here with your daily lunch fact. Ever wonder how the midday meal got portable? In the 1900s, the tin box was appropriated by early adopter kids wanting to make their fathers happy. The first commercial version starred Mickey Mouse. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. Thanks, Lunch and Weather team. Let's begin with our LGH news. Don't forget, on August 29th, the Fall Sports will have a fundraiser from 4 to 8 p.m. at PHS featuring pulled pork dinners. Tickets will be $7 each. See any athlete or Miss Gilbert for tickets. Remember, you can get LJH apparel from Miss Gilbert. Some of the items available, $10 for an LJH t-shirt, $20 for an LJH sweatshirt, and also $20 for an LJH pullover. Today on Campus News, we will meet some of our new LJH teachers, learn about some tips about being successful this year, and more. But first, our LGH World News, stay tuned for our Campus News Now. Good morning, LGH. This is Michael alongside Haley bringing you your LGH World News this morning. Fox News and CNN reports thousands of protesters gathered outside the Phoenix Convocation Center Tuesday night ahead of a speech by President Donald Trump. Sergeant Jonathan Howard said that police... People in the crowd began fighting and throwing rocks and bottles at the police. Two people have been arrested for aggravated assault, and one person has been arrested for criminal damage. Tear gas was used by the police at the riots. A baby has been rescued after an earthquake hit in the Italian island of Eschia. At least one person has died and more than 20 people have been injured. Italian media says up to 10 others are unaccounted for after buildings have collapsed. Goodbye, LJH. Today we have 
had the opportunity to speak with our assistant principal, Mr. Hoppel. Did you know that Mr. Hoppel graduated from Culver High School? He also attended three different colleges. Let's head outside and learn some more from Mr. Hoppel. University for my undergrad. I went to Purdue University for my master's. I have my principal's license from Indiana Wesleyan University. Who plans the school activities? We have our athletic uh, uh, activities. Miss Gilbert plans all those. Some of the activities we have, like after school dances, uh, are planned by me and Mr. Galt. Some of the other incentive parties that we have, those activities are planned by Mr. Galt and I. It's a joint effort. Okay, Mr. Hoppel, you see you have lots of M&M things in your classroom. Exactly how many do you have? I have 10 of those collectibles. All of them will give you M&Ms because M&Ms are one of my two favorite things, which I, besides that, and Mountain Dew. Today I'm here interviewing Logan about tips and tricks he thinks that 7th graders should know about Lincoln Junior High. Now Logan, what do you think will make a great and successful year here at Lincoln? Uh, finish all your work on time and do not select all. What advice would you give to 7th graders here at Lincoln Junior High? Offer combinations get easier. And if it's, do you have anything you like about Lincoln? Lincoln, they're a lot less strict than Riverside. Now, Laura, what do you like about Lincoln? Um, I like how much freedom we have, and I like that we can choose our own classes. Yeah. What advice would you give 7th graders here at Lincoln Junior High? I would probably tell 7th graders, first of all, make sure that you know how to listen. Honestly, that you always bring your supplies to class. Respect each other. Do what you're supposed to do. Do you have any tips for 7th graders to have a successful year? Sure. Uh, one thing I would recommend is if you're having trouble, uh, ask your teachers for help. We're here to help you. This is Caleb and Logan on Sports Corner. Fall sports are here and here is some news. Lincoln 7th grade won 22-6. Eastern Train had three touchdowns. Lincoln 8th grade won 16-8. Zach Masterson scored first. Logan scored last second touchdown at the half. The game was 8-8 at the half. LJH came back and won the game 16-8. Lincoln had to play a conference game face and face Lakeview. Lincoln 7th grade worked hard but fell short 19-0. Zach Masterson on 8th grade pitched the ball to Lennon Creepon, who ran it in for 6 points. Caleb Deacon and Zach Masterson ran for a touchdown. Masterson and Devontae Garcia with 18 seconds left in the half, 19-0 at the half because Devontae scored. At the end of the game, 26-6, Lincoln Junior High won. Cross Country has a meet at LaVille today at 5.30. Volleyball also has a game today at Wallace at 5.30. We're your anchors Logan and Caleb and we will see you Monday. We'll see you This is Bennett and Colin, and welcome to the NFL segment of LJ8 Sports. This past Monday night, the Giants played the Browns in Cleveland. The Browns beat the Giants 6-10. It was a scary game to watch for Giants fans due to an ankle sprain from Odell Beckham Jr. and pending results to Brandon Marshall's shoulder x-ray. B.J. Goodson racked up a sack, and Jason Pierre-Paul had an interception, both for the Giants. The Colts and Bears were both in action Saturday night. The Bears won 24-23 in Arizona against the Cardinals. The Colts fell 24-19 to the Cowboys in Dallas. The Bears' third preseason game is on Sunday afternoon in Tennessee at 1. The Colts are in action for their third preseason game Saturday afternoon at 4.30 in Pittsburgh against the Steelers. Thank you for tuning in, and see you next Thursday.
Thank you to our sponsor for today, the Delta Theta Tall Sorority. Don't forget our words of wisdom today. If one moves confidently in one direction of his dreams and tries to live the life which he imagined, he will meet the unexpected success. We're your anchors, Caleb and Logan from Storm TV. Have a great weekend. We will see you Monday. Thank <laughs> you.